Before we could service or repair a boiler, we need to do a four part electrical test. The first part would be earth continuity, then short circuit, after that resistance to earth, and then finally polarity. Now there are two ways to plug in a boiler. We can either use a plug with a 3 amp fuse. If the customer complains they've got no hot water, I always test the, in the central heating mode. Never turn the tap on. In fact, any fault, I always switch the heating on first because that tests 90% of the boiler apart from the hot water switch. So I suspect that this pump could be faulty. I'm going to measure the resistance on the windings to find out whether I'm right or wrong. Expansion vessels. Let's have a closer look at this. They're fitted inside the boiler normally. This is for the central heating side only. As the boiler warms up, the water in the radiators will expand by 4% per volume. So the expansion has got to go somewhere and it goes in here. Now normally, before a boiler is hung, we look at the size of the building. So if it's got two floors, a ground floor and a first floor, the filling pressure is...